Hi guys, here I am, Miss Nedon here, just going to show you how to make a GIF. So there's two ways that we can do it, well that I personally do it. One is um, using Google um, Slides, or I can do it using PowerPoint, just because those are the ones I'm very comfortable and familiar with. So let me jump to a Google Slide. So what I want to do to start with is I just want to have a total page. Um, so I might just say comparing spread and what I do first is I make a slide that is the finished product that I want to show and while I'm doing that I'm thinking about introducing the elements one at a time and what kind of movement or anything do I want to show in my animation. So that's what I want the finished one to look like and so I've got that as a copy here. So now I'm going to start stripping it away. So for example, I want it to start with just having um, the title there, spread. In fact, we should say comparing spread. Okay, so that's what I want first and I manage them. I've lost the border. Let me just, if I go into edit master slide, I can make that border permanently in the background and not bug me which just resets things so I just need to get rid of these boxes okay so that's what I want to do first let me make another copy of that um, so the second thing I want it to show is comparing the IQR um, then I want it to go one at a time. I'm going to do the number line as my next piece of the animation. Um, then I'm going to want it to do the box and whisker graphs one at a time. So if I kind of step through, that's what it would be doing so far. And then what I want to do is I want to have these arrows, but I want to show them increasing, kind of mimicking me drawing them. So what I can do for that, oh, not that one, copy the whole slide. Um, let me get rid of that. So I'm going to take this, and because this particular size arrow doesn't work so well when it's small, I'm going to start with it like that. And then I made a copy of that, so now I'm going to increase that in length. And now I can put the arrow head back on it. Um, and now I'm going to stretch that out further. And then I will stretch it out to the length I want. So what that would now look like is this. And so then I'll go through and do exactly the same with the other arrow. And when I've got that ready to go, then I've got my slides ready and I need to make the animation. So I've got one file that I've already done. Um, so what I want to do now is there's two ways to do this. So if I've only got a small number of slides, in this case I've got 16, so it could take me a little while if I do this one at a time. So when I download it, I could download each of these as a JPEG, because that's what I'm wanting to make is just a image file of each slide and doing it that way one at a time is not so bad but when I've got some which are like 50 slides that's really annoying me so in that case I actually download that as a PDF document and then there is a website that I have found so there's two um, websites that I use one of them is this PDF to image um, website so PDF to image and I can convert from PDF to any format so in this case I'm going to want to make it as a JPEG file so I just need to upload my file so I'm going to drag and drop that in <coughs> it's doing the converting now and as soon as that is done I will be able to download it so now I can say download all those makes me a little zip file and inside that is a, all of these images as um, each of these slides as a um, JPEG file. It's 
so here they are so I can just open them to just a bunch of these um, now made into a JPEG file so now I go to my second website and this is the one that I find most useful is gifmaker.me um, and I just need to upload the images so I click on that and and here they all are on the desktop so I can go my spread select all of those just holding down the shift key and open those and it's just going to upload them all one at a time while it's doing that I change my animation speed I quite like about 800 as a 800 milliseconds is quite a useful one that I quite like and now it puts them in the order that it's been uploaded now if I don't like the order, if I want to change things around I can pick up an image and move it to a different location and now I've got to put that back where it belongs, yikes hopefully, yeah there we go awesome so once I've got that I can either make a video animation or I just want to make a straightforward GIF so I'm going to click on create a GIF animation um, if you've got a music that you want to attach to it you can um, I usually don't bother and now I can view the GIF or download it so I'm going to download that and that has now made a little GIF here that just automatically runs through and I can save and put that onto my website or anywhere else that I might want to, to do that. So that's that end of the process. Now if you're using PowerPoint then I can do the same thing but just in a slightly different way. PowerPoint is a little bit more inbuilt functions in it. So here I've got exactly the same file and all I'm going to do is go to file and I'm going to the export and under export there's my I can create a PDF like I did then but they've also got a nice other one to change file type I can change this to a JPEG um, so in, I prefer JPEG over PNG because they're better they're smaller sizes for um, being on the web so I can save that and click it as a JPEG and yes save that do all slides fantastic and then I would just um once I find that file I would here we go here are all the slides and I would just upload those to that same um, website and um, do that if you want you can also turn a video into a gif so there's lots of options there so hopefully this is helpful for you guys. Enjoy.